Hello, hello, my name is Mildin, this is Blue Pterodactyl. So, yesterday I've been watching a documentary about Amateurville murders, and it all sounded a bit similar, and I was like, oh my god, it's so many similarities to um, the Idaho 4 case. Now, I'm not saying that Brian, allegedly, was copying Ronald Defoe Jr., He's the person who killed his entire family um, back in 1974. But and and also there are there are many speculations that he hasn't killed all of them and it has been it, it was a sister or it was the father, but officially he's the person who killed everyone, he got arrested, he died in prison, blah blah blah. Anyway, so However, I thought it would be quite interesting to make a comparison table for these two cases. And don't you love my tables, guys? So, let's get into it. Okay, so, Idaho 4 and Amityville Horror House. Okay, so, date. So, both of the murders, well, both. It was like, in total, it would be one, six, ten, ten murders. Both occurrences happened on November 13th and Idaho 4 happened 2022, Amityville murders happened 1974. But both of them happened November 13th. Location, Idaho 4 happened 1122 Kings Road in Moscow, Idaho and Amityville murders happened in 112 Ocean Avenue, Amityville. So, it's not exactly the same num house number, but I thought it was, it was quite quite similar. 11.22, 11.2 time. The Idaho 4 happened um, just after 4 a.m. and Amityville murders happened just after 3 a.m. Now you can see, oh, it's the middle of the night. It's normal time if you're doing murders at the night. I think, but I think it's... Okay, it's, it's on my table. Ammo, the way of operating. So, I don't know four people were stabbed in their sleep in multiple rooms and the killer went room to room and victims were in beds. The Amityville murders, they were all shot in the sleep rather than stabbed. The, as well was multiple rooms, the killer went room to room and victims were in beds. The weapon used in Idaho 4 was a bar knife and in Amityville murders a rifle. The victims. So in Idaho case it was six people in the house and four of them were killed. In Amityville murders it was six people in the house plus the murderer and all of the six were killed. And obviously we don't know if Brian wanted to kill allegedly Brian allegedly wanted to kill all six people in the house but he either ran out of time or Ethan and Zana put up way too much struggle and he just needed to go but um but yeah but four of them killed but however it was six people in the house the time when the murders were reported um slash 911 call so in Idaho case, they call 911 in 11.58 a.m. And in Amityville murders, uh, the, um, the murderer went to the neighbor, well, to the bar that was next to the house and told him that, um, that all his family was shot. And remember, it was 1974, so nobody had mobile phones and you couldn't just... 911. So, and then so he told them that oh my family is all shot, and then multiple peoples. Oh, it's not it's not on the table, but I just remember multiple people went to Amityville house inside of the crime scene. Exactly same in Idaho case. Multiple people went before the police into the crime scene. Ronald Defoe reported the murders at 6.30 p.m. and Idaho was reported just before 12. The time 
unreported, the time the murders have been unreported, Nadaho case was about eight hours. And in Amitable case, it was 15 hours, just, just over 15 hours. So yes, it's different. Idaho was reported much sooner. However, remember, mobile phones, internet, and all of that stuff um, comes into the view as well. So we have to take all of this mo modernization and society moving into account. Right, after the crime, so Brian went back to work slash unit as usual, and Ronald back to work as usual as well. So both of the murderers, they did a deed, they did the murder, and then they, just like nothing happened, went back to work. The motive, in none of these cases, there is clear motive. Either for, we could speculate, maybe, I've seen there were some reports that they're saying, Brian did the crime just for the sake of doing the crime, like the crime itself was a motive so you wanted to see how it feels you wanted to see if he could do it if he gonna get caught and stuff um, also there is all these theories about um, stalking the girls and it was because he was um, refused and stuff until murders again the speculation there's a demon in the house he was possessed the father was or I was saying it could be the sister who killed the whole family because the father was abusing her and and then there was a struggle just like it's not it's no clear motive okay so that nobody knows why he killed Ronald Ronald killed the whole family or why Brian killed random people no motive and then so these are the houses. So this is the 1122 Kings Road, so this is the Idaho house, and this is the famous, I probably should say infamous, Amityville house, okay? So obviously they are both in America, and American houses are all, <laughs> I'm not gonna say American houses are all the same, but they do have similar style, just like European houses have similar style, or Asian houses have similar style. Obviously, culture and stuff comes in, needs, need, needs to be taken in consideration. But yes, so, Amityville house, the balcony, it's quite a big house, lots of windows, Idaho 4 house, the balcony is on the other side, quite lots of windows, probably less than Amityville house, but I don't know, I think, I think they're quite similar. So, what do you guys think? It does sound quite similar, but there are, there are many differences as well, obviously. And recently, to be honest, I have came across a lot of murders that happen on the 13th of the month. So I'm not sure if the killers choosing they deliberately or something just happened to their brains on the 13th and they decide I'm gonna do a murder now on the 13th. Maybe it's a coincidence? Who knows? But as people say, history repeats itself and I suppose murders repeats itself too. And yeah, you could say, you know, some people are interesting in murders in some cases and they want to repeat these murders and I'm, I'm not definitely not saying Brian wanted to repeat the Amitable house because it's completely different if he wanted to do that he would have killed his whole family that he hasn't but I just thought it's, it's quite interesting you know these doing these comparisons at least for me is quite interesting um, and and you know guys you can say and I know people gonna say I'm pulling on straws I'm not pulling on anything I just find these interesting little things in true crime and I share it with you yeah I think it's good right so it's um, that's it from me for today and make sure you subscribe and join the dino crew to be in the loop of the most interesting cases and details and news of the lifetime and 
let's bring out everything into the surface because everything deserves to be done and i'll see you next time bye for now <laughs>